Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech. We're going to start a new series of videos for Windows Phone 8 tips. This one in particular is just going to be on how to use the interface and maybe customize it a little bit. So I thought I'd take you through that. First, let's unlock the phone, slide up to do that. And here's the interface. Now you can see we have all of these different tiles. So if maybe you're new to this, uh, let me give you a quick overview of what the tiles do. Each one of these tiles represents an app like you'll find on most smartphones. But the one thing that's unique about Windows Phone is the People app, or Hub as they're called, kind of brings a lot of things together in one place. So you have people on Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, you can add Twitter, and a couple other things, uh, Microsoft accounts, and hopefully some new things in the future that bring everything into one hub. So if I tap on this and open it up, there's a lot of, a lot of different things that'll show up here that are regarding or related to me and my Facebook feed, things like that. So it makes it really nice to see everything in one place. So you can see once I tap an app, I can tap the Windows button or Start button to go back. I can also hit the Back button. So if we go here, we can go back and it brings me back. Real simple. Now you can see there's different tiles here and maybe we want to move those around. So we have the people tile, maybe we want to move it up here. So we tap and hold, it pops out, we can slide it up here, tap it again, it kind of locks down in place and you can see we can move them in half increments. So tap and hold the messaging hub here, slide it down, tap or we could move both at once. We can move that down, tap, and it locks into place. Now you can see I have smaller tiles as well, and as long as you have Windows Phone 8, this will be true for you as far as resizing these. So you can see this is the store. Maybe I wanna make the store bigger. I have this little arrow here, made it bigger or smaller. Now with certain tiles, we can make them huge, so we can make that one smaller, bigger, so full screen or kind of two tiles, or bring it back to where it was. We also have the option to delete a tile. So maybe we don't want the NFL mobile here right now. We tap and hold. We can hit this little thing here and it goes away. Maybe I don't want this one either. Goes away. And maybe not this one. And then this one I'll make a little bit bigger. And there we go. Now if we want to add more tiles, I'll show you that in a moment. So what we'll do here is slide to the right and here's all of our different applications. So maybe we want to add eBay. Tap and hold, and we have a couple different options. We can pin to start, which is what we want to do, and you can see the rest here. Pin to start, goes down to the bottom, and then you can slide it up to the rest, just like the others. So you have all these different options for the home screen, but maybe you don't like this color and you want to change the color. Well, we can do that in settings, so we can slide down to settings. Now, if you have a lot of different applications here, you'll actually see a letter show up. So you'll have these grouped by letter. So M for maps, messaging, etc. You'll be able to tap the letter. It'll show you all the letters, hit the letter you want, and it quickly brings to where you're going. So we'll go into settings, and then we have theme. Currently, we're on the cobalt theme, and we can change it from dark to light. So if I change it to light, the background goes light. You can see the white balance just changed on the camera probably. Go back to dark, and then we can change our theme altogether. So maybe we want the tiles to be, well, I guess this orange color, or amber as it's called. Now they're all amber. So we can change this based on our mood, season, whatever, uh, but they stick to all the different tiles. There are different ones like Xbox that will be a different color. But that's mostly up to the creator of that application. So since I kind of like the cobalt, I'll change it back here. So we'll go back to our theme. And this was cobalt. Yeah, that's cobalt. Now I'm going to go back one. And we also have the option to change the lock screen. So the lock screen, we have a couple different options. And there's our background. We can change this a couple different ways. But let's just change it here. We can get a photo from Bing every day. Let's do that and that will just update it. We've got a couple different options. We'll talk about that in a different video, but for now we'll just talk about the lock screen. So we'll go back home, I'll lock it, turn it on, and we have a nice picture from Bing. So you can change things like that. Now we can change it another way. If we go into photos, again, this is a hub, so we've got a bunch of different things. Uh, we'll go into wallpaper, 
no, that's not that's an application that's not really what I wanted I meant the camera roll here apparently I haven't taken any pictures so maybe we have something in albums so you can see here is some default pictures I want this picture and maybe I want to add this to the home screen well we have these three little dots here that means there's settings within the application scroll up here and it gives us some options save to sky drive set as lock screen so that's what we're looking for we can set it as the lock screen I won't do that but that gives you an idea there's lots of ways to do things in Windows Phone 8 so you can see that hopefully will give you a general overview but there is one last tip I wanted to show you is what if you want to take a screenshot of whatever you're working on to show your friends or whatever well similar to an iPhone you can tap the home button or in this case the start button and the top button here or whatever your start button is or power on button is rather and it takes a picture and it also saves it to SkyDrive depending on how you have that set up so there's a lot of different things you can do with Windows Phone very intuitive and some great options so I'll show you some other things in some other videos but I thought I'd just show you a basic overview for now with this particular video if you have any questions or comments please place those in the comments below as always thanks for watching this is Aaron I'll see you next time.